All right, truth seekers, so just in case that our world erupts in a world war, just want to cover a specific technology that the United States has that can hit very strategic targets within mountains. This technology was allegedly declassified accidentally per Alex Jones. I play that segment here. That was some older technology. It was that 100 pound DU Sabos, meteor gun technology, drop from orbit, can carry hundreds of those and kill hundreds of elite command groups. These things could decapitate world leadership, just a couple of these planes in a matter of hours. Because they got to retract where they are while they're in orbit. They got to change orbit and they got to get in place. But all those deep bunkers, see, it's not a hydrogen bomb or an atomic bomb. Let's say you've got a mountain and it's got a base under it. And you know why there's sea level right here. You, you know why they always put bases under mountains, right? You know, once you get a mile or two underground, the temperature goes up to 150 degrees or more. And it's true, you keep digging, you hit, you hit lava, thousands of degrees. Okay? So, you'll have a road coming in and you'll go into a mountain and then it'll go down into a mountain. Then you're at like 67 degrees. And there you can have all your nukes and all your weapons and your stuff in there. He's got to have some snorkels up at the top. A lot of these have other ways to get oxygen in. But the reason I show you that is, let's say you got two miles of rock here. You fire a meteor gun with a 100-pound DU Sabo. Rocket controlled. It's going 30,000 miles an hour when it hits. It goes in about a mile, and there's so much kinetic energy that the whole side of the mountain collapses with everybody in it. So that's what the USA has. In orbit by 1979, at least five of craft. It's got super classified information right there. But they leaked it on accident, so I can tell you that. Peace, man. I've had some difficulty trying to find substantive info covering what Alex just showed. The first plane at the top of that page is called an SR-72 by Lockheed Martin. This article describes how it's possible for a strike version of the SR-72 that can include the high-speed strike weapon hypersonic missile concept. So it's described as something that doesn't quite yet exist. But my guess is this is probably just the classification barrier. Anyhow, that's all I wanted to show you. Peace.